Hey guys, John Jr. here, I'm bringing you guys another IBA video, this time for week two of the IBA against Owen and his Seattle Sandstorm. Please go check him out down below. Before we get any further, obviously there's no team builder, and the reason for that is because I actually did record a live comp, but we'll get into why it's a post comp in a little bit, so I didn't really think there was a point in a team builder. Uh, so basically, his team was really, really scary and really hard to switch into, but I thought I built the best possible team for it. We did have Trick Room, um, what was it, Trick Room Jellison did really, really good against his team, so we were rocking out with Trick Room Jellison plus Mega Mawai with enough speed to outspeed his Spirit Tomb that he didn't bring outside of Trick Room, and he didn't have a Play Rough switch, and everything dropped two Play Roughs, which was phenomenal. Uh, we had Play Rough, Sucker Punch, Swords Dance, and some other move, I don't remember what move it was exactly, we had Scarf Breloom with Rock Tomb, Mock Punch, uh, Force Palm, and then I forget the last move, we had a Flame Charge variant of Victini, but it was also a slow Victini, it had enough speed to outspeed everything after one Flame Charge, but it still undersped, I believe, most things under Trick Room, I, I, I don't think I had any speed investment in it, or very, very little speed investment. So under Trick Room, it outsped quite a lot. We had a Scarf Heliolisk with enough speed to outspeed an Unburdened Slurp Puff or a plus two Tyrantrum if Adamant, which I thought Adamant made a lot of sense this game, and we had Glare on that. And then we had Gliscor with, I believe, uh, Rock Tomb Earthquake. I think it's the same uh, same set we had last week as far as moves go, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but looking at the lead matchup here, I thought that Gliscor matched up pretty well against most of his team. The only thing that he could really switch in on me that would be problematic was going to be like Melodic, but we could switch in uh, our Water Absorb Jellicent on that, or our Dry Skin Heliolisk, and I felt pretty fine on that. So we are going to end up leading Gliscor here as Owen does decide to lead off with Middle King, and that's a pretty weird situation because if we're an offensive Gliscor, Owen risks his Middle King turn one and I was very well aware of that so I almost decided to just stay in and click whatever, whatever my other move was I completely forget what it is and I'm so sorry and I'm sorry it's a little bit laggy but he does lead Nidoking, King and this is just one of those situations where he thinks that I have the lead matchup and I think that he has the lead matchup so Owen is going to go ahead and switch out here as I am going to go ahead and uh, switch out as well he goes into Melodic phenomenal check to my Glide score and I will actually be able to see if he is Flame Orb or not here uh, although I know that he is because Owen actually does not run not Flame Orb Melodic he never has one time fun fact so we actually get the switch in right there we get into our jellicent here uh, which is phenomenal so he switches out his melodic he goes into zeus which is going to be the um the thunderous and i knew that the only thing that he could do was click toxic i figured he might do that and hex doesn't do that much to him like a fourth so i decided to switch in glide score because i either got toxic damage or i got toxic or he clicked skull which was an unplay because i had water absorbed so Obviously, I, I'm not in a great situation. I have no idea what his set is. We died to a Life Orb HP Ice. We live a non-Life Orb HP Ice, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Victini. We chew two T-Bolts, and I can just click Flame Charge into another move and kill him. But he does end up going for Sub. Now, he ends up going for Thunderbolt. This is the first attack of the game, if you guys will notice. He hits the Thunderbolt, and I decide to click Flame Charge, which I think is a phenomenal play. We break this thing Sub, and then we can click Bolt Strike the following turn. And if he wants to go into Melodic, that's phenomenal. We do a ton of damage to it. And if not, we kill the Thunderous, which is awesome. Awesome. So uh, that was the plan, but we end up actually getting paralyzed, which means that on the following turn, we will not be able to KO this Thunderous. And we did have enough speed to outspeed this Thunderous. Specifically, that's what our speed stat was for. It was like four speed or something. It wasn't a lot of speed to outspeed this Thunderous after a flame charge. But now I have to let this Mongo down. I figured he was probably going to pop Z here, but there was not much I could do. I didn't really want to. I could have went Glide Score, I guess, but then I would have just had a paralyzed Victini right there and if he was like Z Crunch or something or Z uh, just another type of Z move I don't know he then Gliscor wouldn't have been the play but I got really frustrated anyway I probably should have went Gliscor in the first place but uh, it is what it is like I just let Victini go down it was paralyzed anyway it could have done stuff under Trick Room I guess but it, it is what it is Victini did go down here and I was like okay that's fine we can just easily go into our Scarf Breloom with Rock Tomb and Rock Tomb blows this thing away we are amazing like we do so much damage like 120 min so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the rock to 95% accurate and we miss and he clicks sludge wave and he blows us back the problem is not ever living that so we're five turns in and it's a 4b6 i didn't even have six pokemon this game i didn't get to click a button until this turn i go into mawile my only hope is that i don't miss play rough and if i miss play rough i would have clicked forfeit i want you guys to know honestly this was the most frustrating experience most frustrating game i've had in a long 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 time um just the 10% the pair on my Flame Charge Victini, and the, which is not Owen's fault, and then the um, the Miss Rock Tomb, which is absolutely ridiculous because Breloom was infinitely important in this game because I needed it for Tyrantrum, I needed it for like 
I, even like Medicham's third puff, like he didn't like Scarf Brelum just did so so phenomenal in this game. It was crazy. But we are gonna end up killing the Thunders and he goes into the Nidoking. King. And um, at this point, I don't think there's a way I can win the game. I have to play super super aggressive in order to win the game. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Glide Score. Um, if he wants to call that with an Ice Beam, then phenomenal. He can go right ahead. Uh, but he's gonna click Earth Power there. And I am actually going to switch out into Jellison now because I figure he is probably gonna. I'm, I want to scout for the Ice Beam. I want to get a read on his move pool and what he has. So I am gonna go ahead and go into Jellison here. And Jellison's a really cool set because we can actually. Uh, most times we can actually live two Thunderbolts from whatever Nidoking King spread he is. Uh, I think is what it was, or maybe it was two Sludge Waves. But he's gonna go ahead and go for Thunderbolt there. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, we cannot live two. Never mind. But I'm gonna go ahead and click Trick Room. And the cool thing about this set is we can actually recover and um, we'll be fine. Like we can recover off the damage. So because I knew that we could recover off the damage and he did about as much as we would recover, he probably did about 40%. So we would probably win that straight off in the long run. I figured Owen would know that and he wouldn't click Ice Beam here on my Glide Score because to me that makes zero sense. You have a whole melodic to switch in the Glide Score. You have zero reason to overplay uh, at, at all in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out Sohan into my Glide Score. And for whatever reason, Owen decides to click Ice Beam, which I completely disagree with. If I would have just simply clicked Recover there, I could have killed this thing with two skulls and we would have been in a fine situation. So basically, this was a 3v6. Like, the first two things weren't Owen's fault, but I really, really disagree with that Ice Beam play because he could have just went melodic if I ever went into a uh, Glide Score with absolutely zero downside. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Scald, and you can see it would have been a two shot. He is AV Nidoking, but it still would have been a two shot as he goes for Thunderbolt, and uh, Jellison's gonna go down here. And the whole reason that I wanted to get the damage off on this Nidoking King is because now I get to go into Mawile and I actually get to claim a KO, which is really, really cool. We have two turns of Trick Room left, so I get to click Play Rough two times, and if we land both of them, we get to claim at least one KO. He's gonna go ahead and switch out here into the, um, into the Melodic, which is fine. Uh, we do a, we always two shot this thing, which is phenomenal. Mawile is such a stupid Pokemon. I love clicking buttons with this thing. Uh, so we're gonna do about 60% there to that Mawile, or to the Melodic, excuse me. We do about 60% to that Melodic there, and he is gonna go ahead and just drop to another play rough because Miss Dusa apparently does not miss. She wore her glasses today and she's landing the play rough. Miss Dusa is trying her best to put this team on her back. The Twisted Dimensions are going to return to the normal, and actually, we just kind of lose to the Tyrantrum at this point in the game. He, can just, he could have just came in and on Tyrantrum clicked Earthquake, honestly, and he would have won the game. Um, but it is what it is, because I am Scarf Helios in the back, but he's actually going to go Medicham, and I figured he was probably going to go for Drain Punch, so I am just going to go ahead and go for Sucker. Hope for a crit. I, did, I don't even think a crit would have killed him, though, as I do get the Sucker Punch off, and we do about 60. Maybe it would have killed him. We did about 60 to 70, as he does go for the Drain Punch, and that's basically going to seal the deal there. Um, he, gets back up to about half, which is fine. So Heliolisk can come in, and we actually have to lock into Hyper Voice because he has Nidoking King in the back, and we have to hope that he chokes, and he clicks Dragon Dance on his Tyrantrum, and we get two crits in a row, and that's how we win the game with Heliolisk. So we actually, he's going to give us uh, Metacham. He's not going to risk anything, not going to risk going in Tyrantrum there, which is fine. So Metacham is going to perish there, and he just goes into Trap T, which I'm not sure what the nickname is, uh, but he does go into that Tyrantrum, and he just kind of wins the game. He has to choke. He has to click Dragon Dance and we got to crit two hyper voices spoiler alert that doesn't happen we do about 30 percent 30 to 33 percent with that uh that hyper voice and he is going to absolutely decimate us with an earthquake there and this was very very devastating this was very frustrating um this game all around within the first five turns it was just a 4v6 and there wasn't really even a point in me bringing six pokemon which is very very frustrating and i actually was really looking forward to this game because i really do enjoy this team and seeing how this game turned out really was just disheartening, honestly. Um, and it kind of, this was probably one of the worst experiences I've had in a match. And not just because I lost and not just because of the luck, but um, it was a 4v6 after turn 5. And I got no hits off because of a Thunderbolt para. And I got a Flame Charge off on subs, Substitute. I, I got no hits off on any Pokemon uh, because of a Flame Charge para and a, what is it called? Um, a rock to miss which is 5% accurate, but Owen says that it didn't matter and that he would have won regardless But I had to play Ridiculously aggressive in order to have any chance of coming back to that game And he said because I was playing so aggressive he still would have won. I completely disagree I it was a 4v6 after turn 5 if that first turn para didn't happen Then this would have been a completely different game We would have actually had a game instead of a beating it basically is what this is because of all the para and I don't know like that really rubbed me the wrong way that he, that he said that uh, he would have won regardless because I I don't think that can be further from the truth. I think that having having six Pokemon and having four Pokemon 
Pokemon is a very different scenario and being able to play around those Pokemon is very very different so I don't know you can let me know what you think but I don't think that in any universe was it just a loss if even if that didn't happen I think that we had a really good shot to win actually like I think it was still like a 50 50 you know either either player could win like but it is what it is Pokemon had it out for us today so we are gonna unfortunately catch that L and move to Owen 2 I'm gonna try to forget about this game I really am like I said this was like the worst experience of the match I've ever had how am I gonna miss a 5% rock to man I don't even know so I deleted the live comp it is absolutely completely gone I hated it. it. I was so frustrated in the live com. You guys are never going to see that. So hopefully we'll be bouncing back in week three. We are going to be facing Steven. And hopefully I'll actually be able to get a dub. Hopefully I'll actually be able to hit a move. And hopefully I'll actually be able to play Pokemon next week. But with all that being said, guys, I'm sorry if, like, I'm salty. I, I really am. This is the saltiest I've been after a match, actually. I really wasn't looking forward to recording this at all. And this is not going to be a quality video at all. But I, I still have to get it out there to show you guys what happened. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did watch this one, uh, make sure to answer the question of the day down below, actually. What do you think about Trick Room? After this week, I do think I really like Trick Room. I really do. And I definitely am going to bring it in the future. Like, because we have a Trick Room team. Shocker. I'm going to bring it in the future. But uh, I'm really upset that I didn't get to capitalize on it this week but unfortunately that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes and it is pokemon at the end of the day so it is what it is but not off to the start that we want we'll try to take it to steven next week and move on to one and two uh but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and for now guys this has been john jr signing off